are doing a left front ABS wheel speed sensor where the hub and bearing were just replaced and we're concerned we're still getting a trouble code and we're concerned about wiring problem or did we get a bad part so first thing I'm doing is I'm looking at my bias line voltage which is going to help determine wiring on this car so just uh, two readings that we're going to we're going to get first would be um, on one of the two wires uh, just back problem with a t-pin and I have a a 2.59 volt on that wire move the t-pin to the next one and I don't know what the bias line voltage is on this offhand but we're going to compare it to the other side here's the other wire and right now I'm reading 2.44 volts so one of these two is the signal wire, one of these two is the ground, and the way you can tell is if you unplug the, unplug the speed sensor, kind of hard to do with one hand here, but unplug the speed sensor, so now that's unplugged, my T-pin, my connection on that, that one dropped to zero volts, the other side, is up to five volts. So that's my five volt bias line run to the speed sensor. So what I want to do is wiggle the harness and I don't want to see any changes on that five volt line so I'm going to reach up and do that. And what I, do, what I don't want to see are drops in that, in that bias line. I didn't see it there. I'm going to plug it back in. Got 2.59 volts. That's my signal wire. That was at 5 plugged in, 2.5 un sorry, 5 volts unplugged, 2.5 plugged in. Do the same test. I'm going to wiggle this wiring and look at these drops in this signal right here that should not be happening. That is why we're setting this fault code. We have a wiring problem. So following the circuit, following the wire, comes across the control arm up here, comes above right to here, wiggling the connection. The harness I was pushing on was actually this harness right here. As I push on that, you see I'm pushing, you see the voltage changing on that. That should not be doing that. So we got a wire that's rubbing ground up here somewhere. Using bias line to find it, not doing opens and shorts with an ohm meter. And if you look close, there's my light, you can see some blue tape. Somebody's been in this harness and it's on, uh, resting against this AC accumulator here and that's where we suspect our problem's at, right there. So I'm gonna pull some tape off and take a look at it. All right, so we got the harness opened up right where it was laying against the accumulator there's my two abs wires it's going to be a little bit tough to see i'm going to zoom a little bit and i'm going to point this out with my finger right where our wire right there on the yellow wire was touching on the accumulator rubbing on ground pulling that signal voltage down that was causing our problem right there again used bias line voltage to find it and, and what you do, measure your signal wire voltage on the sensor itself, move the harness, bias line voltage should stay steady, and it was not doing that, it put us right to this. That's it. That's using bias voltage to find a open or short in a signal wire of a sensor.